for stopping by. This is Truth Goddess Tarot 777. Hello. Today's read is for you, Sag, just for Sagittarius. Hey, Sag, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate the support. Let's begin, Sag. Like, comment, and share the videos. All right. I would definitely appreciate the support. And I thank you. Now, hmm. The bottom of this deck is adversary, right? So this is about somebody going against you, someone causing a problem for you, Sag, someone that wants to make things difficult for you, somebody that's an enemy, somebody that you have a conflict with. This is a person that wants to cause self-destruction in your life. They want to make life very challenging for you. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So this is a person who's causing this challenge in your life. All right. So that's what we have there. Oh, whoa. So the person that caused you a lot of problems, it's possible this person may be suffering a physical death, a spiritual death, but the person that caused you a lot of pain, trauma, turmoil, there's death here. So this is about a person who once broke your heart, somebody that caused a situation to be very difficult in your life. These could be family members. Um, it could be anybody that had a connection to you that you had a problem with. This is a person who, again, they, they were, they were like your, I say, enemy, somebody that you wouldn't trust again. All right. This is somebody who you probably don't have a connection with anymore. You don't. This may be a person that, again, this is a person that was making things very difficult for you when you were in a situation with them. It could be a family member, a child, a, re a relative. It could be anybody that you had um, an issue with. It could be <laughs> as close or as far as a, a neighbor. Yeah, this car came in reverse. This is somebody that's lost a lot of hope. So we know now that this is a person that, wow, judgment was called on this person up uh, twice. Judgment, the bottom of the stack, judgment. So this person is being charged. <laughs> They're being charged. They're being, um, oh, you're going to have peace now. Whoever this person is that judgment is being called on this person, this was a person that, they had mental problems or this is a person that kept you stuck in your head because they were an adversary in your life. This was a person that was inflicting pain in your life, feeling um, bound and gagged. So this is a person who bound and gag you. They're getting judgment for making your life very difficult. This person... Th there's hope. This person is hopeless. Now, this is a person that, yeah, they, they just was very difficult to deal with. This is a person that got on your last nerves. They did. And Spirit is saying the new moon in Virgo, in which I believe the new moon in Sag, the energies were in Sag uh, yesterday, I think it was. So now there's a time to give rather than take. And this was in a blocking position. This is you. I feel like you were in this energy, Sag, where you weren't willing to give anymore or take any more bullshit from this person because nothing is set in stone. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable, which Virgo is a mutable sign. And I believe you as a fire sign, you're mutable. So this is a situation in which you possibly thought this adversity between you and this person would continue to go on. This is a cycle in which you've released this pain, this person. Um, you were able to break loose from this person. And it seems that there's 
this person, the three of swords can also be a major death. Here it goes twice. This could be a death of a loss of someone. The three of swords can also be somebody that has, again, physically passed on. This, this person, hmm, this could be a loved one or someone that is an adversary of yours that hurt you. Or this could be also, this is a situation where somebody that caused a lot of pain has uh, taken a journey. This is a major thing that happened. This person, um, they caused a lot of heartbreak for you. This person in the upright, this is a person that you are apt, that you are no longer absent. You are absent from this person. This person has ill health. This is why the tower card is here. I feel like this person, when they caused a lot of pain, and the health card was here. I Yep, the bottom, oh wow. The health, oh, here it is here. Oh wow. This person's health is affected. This is why this is here. This person that betrayed you, their health is being affected. They surrendered. This is is a relationship in which you have with this person. So nothing is set in stone. This person can no longer affect your life anymore. This person is somebody that you definitely know. There was something about this person that was trying to keep your life very difficult. They were, they did. So this is a person that was making a fast, quick, you know, taking action to come to you to try to stop you from moving on with somebody new, which is a King of Pentacles. So it's like this person is trying to come and disturb your life to keep you preoccupied, in other words, to keep you stuck in your head so that your focus would no longer um, be bound and stuck to this person or would be bound and stuck to this person. But judgment is here, so... Because you, this person has a death, a physical death, this person can no longer be um, having, you, you'll no longer be bound and stuck to this person with all their chaos and confusion. But this is a person that wants to, the reason why this person did all this shit to y'all, because they wanted to stop you from having a new love, somebody that was greater than them. But your ancestors came in between what this person was doing to you this entire time because you are on this spiritual journey in which you're, you've grown, you've changed. From the last time you was with this person, you're not the same. So your ancestors are protecting you from this person. This person would cause you to miss out on your soulmate, somebody new. So if you were to continue to go back and forth with this person, each time and each day, minute, hour, second, even years of going back and forth with this person, you have overcome being depressed, being having having this overwhelming amount of grief, just this person trying to cause you to get all worked up over their problems. I feel like you've you're in this energy where you're forgiving yourself. This person wants to come through and share their problems with you. This is the other thing. This is a person who has a problem letting go of pain. So this is why they kept becoming somebody that would be an adversary of yours. Like this is a person who wanted your attention, even though you weren't in their life because you You've grown. You have learned to expand your soul. And this is why you no longer continue to have adversary and fights with this person. This is a shock to this person's system that you knew you do not battle this person to the death. Like this person wants to keep you in this energy in which you just get so tired. You lose a lot of hope. You lose a lot of faith and they just keep you going around in circles. I mean, you guys, with this Eight of Swords, this is, you've known this person, I would say 13 years or more. But it seems to me that 
the death of this person's health. Here's the health. This is the health card. So it's definitely dealing with somebody with ill health that has surrendered in a relationship. This is a relationship. Oh, wow. So now you're going to get peace. This is what's going to happen. This is the judgment card came right out. You're going to receive peace now that this person has moved on to another journey. And this is something that's happening very slowly with this person. This is a thing that this person was always kind of fearing. This is a person that was taking their time and now they have to regroup. This is a person that, yeah, palm angels. I feel like this person is about to meet their maker <laughs> because of the spell work that they were putting on you as an empress. So now this person has to pay in this cycle. They have to pay. This change is going to allow you to look to your future. The moon court in secret, this person is dealing with ill problems. They're ill. They're sick. This person is... Huh. on their last leg this is a person that is looking like death is knocking on their door this person is being burdened they were a burden to you and it keeps coming out this person was a burden to you this is a person that if they had not reached the huh I feel like if your angels didn't come in and block this person, this person would continue to bother you. This is this is a person that couldn't, could have been. This is how this person is seeing you. They feel like they could have been and had a situation with you in a relationship. This relationship that they refuse to surrender with you is causing this person a slow death within themselves. Like, they betrayed themselves when they purposely caused a tower moment in your life by causing you stress, by blocking you from moving forward with your life. Your ancestors and your angels know that if this person has not been put down, that they would continue to block your life and make everything a burden for you. So... It's kind of inevitable for this person to, I'm sorry to say, y'all, to live on because they just don't have the foresight to leave you alone. They don't. This is this is my coffin card. <laughs> this is my coffin card. The four of swords and the eight of swords is my coffin card. And that's 13, which is four. I'm telling y'all, it's, it's, it's looking very bad. The moon card is secrets, hidden knowledge, ill health. This person is refusing medications. This is a person that is falling ill and they're refusing to take any kind of medication. Oh, the death card. I cannot make this up, y'all. The cycle with this person and you. It's over. The transformation and change of going back and forth with this person will no longer exist again. And this is all due to justice, karmic justice. I cannot make it up, y'all. They're going to take this person really quickly. It's going to happen. This person was refusing to take any kind of medication to it's like they refuse to take anything that would help them it's like they are slow about seeing the the real truth about how quickly they're deteriorating yep and now this is a person who wants to come to you and tell you how much they care for you and they're they're very honest about this now they are because this person is dealing with a lot of stress. They're, they're alone. They're stressed. They're hurt. They're in pain, physical pain, spiritual pain, emotional pain. 
because they know that you're happy, you're excited, your life will continue to move forward. They know that once this happens, you're going to make a lot of big changes and begin a new start with someone else. Somebody that is going to, you know, nurture the relationship. And this will bring this person a lot of sorrow and regret. Yeah, this person felt that with the Ten of Pentacles, they seen that you are the blessing, that you are focused and you are driven to have and to give your love and your life to someone else. This will change this person's outlook. It has changed this person's outlook. They know that you you were always focused on your future. They know that success was coming to you. This is what they were they're talking about now. It's like this person is regurgitating things that you guys may have talked about when this person spoke in a way about you to their family. It's like they 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 didn't give to you. They took from you and gave to others. It wasn't a give and take relationship. So the cycle is closed. The change of you moving forward, seeing your future, trusting and holding on to a soulmate that would be true to you. To you. This person didn't really speak their truth to you. Now all they can do is sit and be vindictive and jealous because you are in this nine of pentacles and the queen of pentacles energy or pentacles. They know that you're going to have a successful life with a new beginning, new blessings, great big um, money, time, energy, and business. Like this person is seeing how you've grown and you're building your own life on your own. You have all these pinnacles around you. This person sees that your new beginnings, it's going to end up being the biggest blessing in your life they know that so because you've made all these big changes these pe this person is watching you so they just have to sit back and just see how you have grown and you have evolved in your spirituality you have a spiritual discernment you have spiritual discernment you you've expanded your soul you've learned a lot and this is why the universe is saying that they're going to bring a great connection in your life. This person, and they're going to be a king of cup, king of pentacles and a king of cups. They're matching you. Here it is. This is somebody that they see. So basically this person is just trying to, oh my goodness, like cock block or, you know, however you want to put it. This is why they're so stressed. They, it's like this person had an opportunity to have you were like I'm t the jackpot like you are male or female look you were a gift to this person but see you're the biggest blessing you were the biggest blessing this person ever had but they squandered the relationship with you when they were talking about you it's like this person became an adversary of yours here they are the page of swords this is a, a, a backstabbing, jealous, bitter, bitter person who's now seeing their fate in this relationship. So now they have to surrender to the fact that judgment is caught upon this person for making your life very difficult. You're going to be and have a lot of peace now that this person is no longer in your life. And I'm telling you, it's, it fell right up under this emperor. This person is serious now that they see that you, they made you an adversary. They made you become somebody that for some of you guys, you were speaking to your ancestors and angels about this person's fate because as a spiritual spiritualist or somebody that grows a high priestess, a hair font, somebody that was minding their own business while this person was watching and stalking and invading your space. This person was invading your life. 
they were intrusive to your life. Even if you tried to walk away from this person when you did, however the relationship ended, you began to work on your own self. This person sees that after the breakup, you were able to successfully overcome this three of swords, this tower card. You were able to move past this person and their antics because nothing was set in stone. Okay, this person thought that you would sit around and wait around for them. No, you didn't do that. So now they're sitting here in this page of swords energy, looking, talking, scoping, discussing, thinking, just, it's like somebody, it's, it's definitely like if somebody were to hand you a lottery ticket and you took and discarded that lottery ticket and it was the winning ticket that is worth $10 million. This is how this person dealt with you. You were that ticket to this person's problems of being resolved in their life. Okay. This person is a page. You guys were soulmates or you guys were connected in a past life. That's what, or else this person wouldn't come back into your space as an adversary. So it's like the cycle has to play itself out with you and this person. And this is you as the high priestess. So you are a person that's very connected. And this is what's driving this person. You're really special, Sad. You really are. I mean, you don't run into high priests every day. You don't. You don't run into hierophants every day. It's like this person didn't know who you were. They didn't. But the problem is this person judged you. This person judged you when a time where you were building yourself up. You were building a business. You were working your way up into this entrepreneurship thing. This was might've been new for some of you guys, but this person, person didn't see that you were planning to work on building your own life. This person never thinks before they speak. <clears throat> and spirit is telling you, this person is trying to draw, again, this person was trying to draw you in for an argument. This page of um, swords, this is what they do. They try to, you know, draw you into their drama so that it can be a cycle that would never end. But it's ended. It's, it's definitely ended. Yeah, they wanted to keep you indecisive in your head, stressed out, you know, Accepting the fact that this person was your destiny. This is what this person wanted you to believe. They they definitely wanted you to accept the fact that, you know, they didn't want you to move forward. So they wanted to keep you in all kind of trauma. It's like this person was had a trauma bond with you. Whether you know it or not, this was a trauma bond relationship. Clarify the health card. So now this person's health has been and is deteriorated. I see the death card out here like a million times. Yeah, this person's connection to third parties is, has caused this person the death of men. Oh, that, yeah, told you. The person, their health has been affected by being in third party connections. Yeah, this is a person that was passionate about doing this with people from their past. Yeah, this is what they were doing. They would sleep around with people from their past. While you were in a connection with this person, this person was having other relationships. Yeah, now they're looking to go within to realize what they did to you was something that was not fair to you because this person was upset. This person has sex addictions and third-party connections. You've learned the truth about this person having sex addictions, porn addiction, and all these relationships. This person thought that they could make your life difficult and keep things the same because nothing is set in stone. This is what this person was doing. I'm telling you, they were trying to control your life and the situation. As long as they could keep you in this toxic relationship to keep you indecisive, not seeing the, their true intentions, not seeing who they really were, 
This person is a demon. They didn't want you to see how beautiful you were and know your worth. So again, this person would argue with you. This person would uh, connect with other people and find out. And they're trying to connect to find out how you are so successful. They see that you're beautiful, that you are, they wanted to keep you in this struggle, struggle love. This is what it is, but you were able to connect and you were determined to have success. Yeah. So now that you're stable and you're finding new love. So you have a person that is, you know, you guys check out the all signs video that I, I keeps coming out. Judgment. Judgment is called on this person. This person, see the cross? That's death. This person is reevaluating how they wasted time cheating on you, playing games with you. 2,600 as I say that. They wasted time trying to control you, putting you in third party situations. This person's health has been affected. And I'm telling y'all, the time frame of when this person is, you know, time is running out for this person. Yeah, they, they ran around with gold diggers. And this is now what they want to talk to you about. This is a person who put love spells on you because they wanted to keep you connected. This was a gamble they took to try to make everything difficult in your life. This person watches you. You're not the same person. You're just not. You've grown. This person is now challenges. I told y'all. This person is dealing with a lot of challenges because you've let this person go. Yep. And now they're trying to manifest you back into their life. I feel like this person, last will and testament. That's what I just heard. Last will and testament. That's what's going on. I'm telling y'all, your guardian angels have taken care of this person. Yep. It's time. This person's stalking, talking, speaking, watching, having... You guys look at the Aries, Taurus, Libra video. Because you've moved on, they've moved on. This person's life has, I told y'all, caution. It's, this person is leaving this plane, this third dimension. This person, just a few more months, good things come to those who wait. So in time, you're going to find out, you're going to know exactly what happened to this, this narcissist? You're going to find out. And then you'll have, your heart will be open to commit to someone new. And this person will no longer be a distraction in your life. Because you were always good enough to have real love in your life, Sag. Your hard work is also paying off. And now... Once this person is out of your life, you and your loved ones will be safe because this person was stalking you. This person had minions. This person had other people watching and following you, talking about you, trying to call. Here it is. I'm telling y'all. Death card. This person was trying to keep you all in your head. This is a person that has mental problems. They lie. They steal. They cheat. They never let things go. They try to control situations. They're very deceitful. These are my coffin. All of these are swords. There's a breakthrough about this person now. I'm telling y'all. They were working to keep you blinded. Because we have the... Because you know what this person was doing all the way around, their secrets are revealed. You got the seven of swords, the eight of swords, and the one of swords, and the um, ace of swords. So this is a airy, no, I keep saying Aries. This is a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This person was a liar, a cheater, a thief, somebody that has mental problems, somebody that's always stuck in their head. They know that you know who they are because of your spiritual growth. They know that this person was getting reads on you. They see how beautiful you are. With the Queen of Wands, 
somebody very uh, socialite, beautiful, who's comfortable, who's balanced, who has stability in their life. They know that the changes that you're going to be making with someone new, you're going to have a brand new happy family because you left behind this person with all these problems. They know that if they don't, it's like it's too late for this person. They know that you you made some quick changes. You move forward. You're, look, you're no longer wanting a return, united connection with this person. You're looking for happiness with some with a whole new connection. Somebody that's going to bring you a lot of contentment in your life. And this person is going to be left out. They're going to be burdened. You were very good to this person, Sage. I'm telling you. You were too good to this person. And they couldn't appreciate who you were. Remember, this person is now an enemy. Because you were very kind to this person. You were. In this relationship... You were good to this person. Now they're sick and their health is causing a major death to this person's life. Now they want to health again. I cannot make it up. I'm telling y'all health. This person's health is deteriorating. It's just a matter of time before they're out of here. That's what the spirit is letting you know. So you won't have any stress to worry about this person interfering in any of your relationships. Yes, this person... You, you, if you guys were married to this person and this person was always popping up, calling you, texting you, working, trying to find ways to manipulate their life, their way back to your home, sending spell work, black magic, all type of, uh, dark magic to your home to try to steal your happiness away from this person. This person felt like you would always be there for them. Yeah, that's what they thought because they were always in a third party connection with short term relationships in and out. A blonde female. This person is looking to travel to you because you're very beautiful. It may be a dark male or a dark hued, hue, darker hue. This person is looking to come to your home. As you sit back and relax and you're minding your business, this person is very passionate about coming to you, male or female. They want to come to you. It's this mature man or woman. They want to offer you a gift. They want to present something to you. This is a person that, as a young female, now this is a person that wants a union with you. This person may have offered gifts to a young female, offered them gifts, maybe in marriage, in an open relationship. So this person also had this going on. This mature male gave gifts to this younger female, even an offer in marriage, but the, in the third party, they had a third party connection. So you have a male and two, two a female and two men that they offered some kind of polygamous relationship with. This is what they wanted, but it was an open relationship. So it's like, if you were to marry this person, or if you are, this person was always in an open relationship. They were always having third party connections, but it's cost this person a lot of money, time, and uh, a family. Like, if this person was courting you, this is what they were doing. But the spirit and the universe is bringing a true gem to you. Somebody you're going to court because they're seeing you as a beauty queen. You're going to have a happy, funny, funny. This person will be funny. This person will have children, possibly a family already made. But they will be a king of pentacles as I already showed. Here they are. They're going to be wealthy. That's the read, Sag. I'm out of here. Spirit is just telling you there will be no more conflicts in this connection. This person had a connection with somebody that may have been a friend. This person is going to want to compete with you to cause a distraction again so that you will not connect with this King of Pentacles. This person is wanting to be in competition. They want to fight the fact that you have a soulmate. They want to 
make it seem as if this person is not, is a liar, a cheater. This is what they want. This person is a soulmate that's coming to you. Here it is. They want to break up your connection to this soulmate. This is what this person wants to do. But you already know that. The ongoing battles, you already know. This person wants to fight for you because you're smart. You're a, you're a spiritualist. You are a guru when it comes to your walk. Because you've grown in your spirituality. You have a connection with spirit. And you are the gift. You're the prize. Just know that, said You're the prize. This person didn't realize this. And this was an ice king. Who now is dating somebody that's controlling them. And the people are talking about how this person got worked over. Yep. So that's the reset. We're out of here just to let you know that there's a major change in this person's life and it's not going to be pretty. This person's life and the obsessions that they had with having third party connections and being indecisive, not being truthful to an empress. This person is obsessed with you. They are. This person has a toxic connection to you. This is why this person did not want to be left out in the cold with you. When you walked away, this person realizes that you're going to meet and have a king of pentacles in your life. And they're going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of excitement. They're going to come and offer you a new start in life. This ongoing battle with this person who has threesomes, they're thinking about everything that they did. You're no longer going to have to worry about this person doing spell work because the work that you've been putting in while this person was trying to battle you and connect to third-party connections, you were regrouping and rebalancing yourself, seeing the truth, began your work, your social, you're on social media, you have a platform, your, all your hopes and dreams are here. You've made plans to move forward and leave this person behind. And this is causing this person a ten of swords because of your success. This is what this person is jealous of, Sag. I'm out of here because you are, again, the biggest blessing. That is the read. Thank you for stopping by. And they know this. This is what, if you didn't know, this person is thinking all these things in secret. They know they don't want you to know that because of their juggling and cheating and being having connections in their home with multiple people that they're ill and sick about it. And they have to look at their future in another way. There's going to be bad news coming to this person and you already know it. This person knows that you're going to move on, be happy and have a new, con a new connection. And that's what's bothering this person. That's the research. Bye.